Hi everyone, it's Zinnia here. Today I wanted to show you how to add day and night to any Scratch project. You could use this for a game or an animation or a virtual pet simulator. And yeah, let's get started. So for this example, let's say that I have this project with a dog and I want to add day and night modes to this project. Here is one way that you can do that. So I'll just hover over choose a sprite and click paint. And what I'm basically going to do is paint a dark blue or black rectangle over the whole screen so that it's a sort of dark cover over everything that makes it look like it's night. So I'll click on the rectangle tool and I'll set the color to something in the blue range and make it pretty dark. And I'll drag out this rectangle to cover the whole screen. Now, right now, it is completely unable to be seen through. And we can fix that by clicking on the code tab. And in the looks category, you can scroll down. And there's this block that currently says set color effect. But this block actually has a lot of effects you can choose from. And if you click on it, you can see them all. And one of them is ghost. So if you click on that, you can try putting in different numbers and see what happens. So as you put in higher and higher numbers, it gets more and more transparent. So 100 will make it completely transparent and zero will make it completely opaque, like not transparent at all. So you can pick what level of transparency you like for your night mode. I think I like 50. And if you want to ever switch back to day mode, you can drag out another set ghost effect block and set the ghost effect to 100. And now the dark night cover is completely transparent. So we can use these blocks to switch between day and night. And let's make it so that the player can switch between night and day by pressing various keys. So you can go to the events category and let's drag out a when space key pressed block and let's make it so that it switches to night mode when you press the space key. And how about we make it switch to day mode when you press the A key. So now you can switch between the two day and night modes by pressing the keys. And when the green flag is clicked, let's make it be completely transparent so it gets set to day mode. And I'll also make it go to the front layer so that it will always be in front of any sprite and the night cover will cover them. Now, let's say we want the dog to do something when it switches to night mode. For example, we could make the dog like look like it's sleeping. So here's how you can do that. You can click on the dog and to make it have a new costume where it looks like it's sleeping, I'll click on the costumes tab and I'm just going to right click and duplicate this costume. And I'll make the eyes look like they're closed. So I'll click on the eyes and click delete. And to draw a closed eye, I'll click on the paintbrush and set the color to black. And that looks a little thick for the line that I want to draw. So maybe I'll set the size of the paintbrush to four. And then I can just draw a curved line and I can click on this select tool and click on the first eye and then just click copy and paste. And I can just move the second eye over here. So that's a trick I like to do. And now that I have this sleeping dog costume, I can go back to the code tab and I can use the switch costume block to switch between the two costumes that I have. So I can switch from that to that. And how can I make it do this when it switches between day and night? Well, let's create a broadcast. So let's go to the night cover sprite. I'll make it send a broadcast 
when it switches to day and another broadcast when it switches to night. And a broadcast is just like an invisible message that one sprite can send out and then other sprites can do something when they get that broadcast. So when the space key is pressed and it switches to night mode, I'll make it broadcast a new message called switch to night. And when the A key is pressed and it switches to day mode, I'll make a message called switch to day. And now in the dog sprite, I can use this block when I receive to say, when I receive switch to day, I'll switch to the regular dog costume. And when I receive switch to night, I can switch to the sleeping costume. So let's try that out. So I press the A key to switch to day and the space key to turn to night and it closes its eyes. I could also make the dog say something or think something when it switches to one of these modes. So maybe I'll have the dog think like some Z's when it switches to night mode. So when I switch from day to night mode, it's like it's sleeping. Now, what if you wanted it to switch between day and night? For example, every 10 seconds or every 20 seconds or every minute. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go to the night cover sprite. And after the green flag is clicked, let's make it forever wait a certain amount of time, maybe five seconds. You could have it be whatever amount you want in your game. And then let's have it switch to night mode. I'll just duplicate this code by right clicking on it to get the same code for switching to night mode. And then we'll have it wait another five seconds. And then let's duplicate this code for switching to day mode. So let's try that out. So now every five seconds, it switches between uh, night mode and day mode. And here's one last thing. Right now, sometimes the dog starts out with its eyes closed because we need to broadcast switch to day when the green flag is clicked because we want it to start at day mode. So I'll broadcast switch to day here at the beginning. So when the project starts, the dog starts with its eyes open. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today. I can't wait to see all the projects that you add day and night to. And yeah, I'll see you next time. And scratch on.